Let's talk about chord comping in country guitar. For acoustic guitar, it might just be something like this. So that's nice and straight ahead, sounds nice and full. Here's another way of doing that. We could use our reduced chord fingering. So that's using those basic swing chords that we've talked about in another video where we're trying to go for some movable forms. We're not relying on any open strings for our chord sound. We're going for fingerings that can be moved up and down the neck regardless of the key that we're in. Uh, these are especially handy because if you're starting out in the key of G and then it's time to go up a half step. got these movable forms at your fingertips. There's a, kind of a swing element to this style of chord playing in country music. You might be playing something totally different on an electric guitar. Uh, that might be a little more rock, where you want to have more of a power chord sort of sound. The varieties are pretty limitless. There's a, another way that you can think of comping uh, for a country tune. Say we're in the key of A. I could use this kind of boogie-woogie sort of pattern. Really focusing on those bass strings and just getting that kind of rock and roll boogie thing. So a lot of country music has that in there. Just start paying attention when you're listening to your favorite music, your favorite artists. Try to dig in a little deeper in your listening and listen to the backing tracks a little more and you'll, you'll start to get a more of a concept on how this stuff works. It's really supportive playing. You could also check out Creedence Clearwater Revival. John Fogarty is just a rhythm machine on the guitar. And so many of us are still copying what he did. So yeah, so those are some tips that'll get you started on your different styles of comping for country guitar.